How to use Monday.com for real estate Monday.com as a real estate CR Hello guys and welcome to today's video. For today's video, we will be exploring on how to use Monday.com as a powerful project management tool specifically tailored for real estate professionals. Monday.com is a versatile platform that helps streamline workflows, improve collaboration, and enhance productivity in various industries including real estate. If you're a real estate agent, a broker, or a property manager, you understand the complexity and demands of the industry. With multiple listings, clients, deadlines, and tasks to manage, having an efficient system in place is essential. This is where Monday.com comes in. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the process of utilizing Monday.com as a real estate CRM customer relationship management tool, and we'll show you how to set up your account create customized boards to manage your properties, truck leads, and prospects, and collaborate with your team seamlessly. You'll learn how to organize your properties, assign tasks to team members, track important milestones, and monitor progress at a glance. So let's get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to teach you, is to set up your account. Now going to monday.com, this is their homepage right now, what we are seeing. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to select from all of these options, on how you would like to use or how you would like to manage with monday.com now for real estate i suggest that you use project management because real estate is like you have a project and different clients and you could use project management to help you manage all of those things now keep in mind also monday.com is not specifically built for real estate we're just going to use this platform to help you organize as a real estate agent to help you organize your properties, your tasks to do, your clients, the things you need to do. Because Monday.com is very good at assigning tasks and giving you a visual on what you need to do. So the first thing you're going to select is project management. You could also choose task management, but for now we're going to go with project management. After that, you're simply going to click on get started. And now you will be able to either sign up with Google or sign up with an email depending on what email you have. You could choose any, maybe you have a yahoo.com or other email platforms out there. You simply enter it over here and sign in. And now after entering your email, you will be redirected to this page. Now it's going to ask you some series of questions so that it will be able to customize and optimize your monday.com experience depending on what you type in here or what options you choose it will optimize your experience to accommodate what you need monday.com for so you simply enter the accurate information over here for example what do you, what brings you here of course work because we're real estate and then what describes your current role you can be team leader team member freelancer director c level or any of this option we're going to go with team leader click on continue how many people are on your team we're going to enter random numbers for now how many people work at your company just like that and what would you like to manage first we have all of this option product product management hr recruiting construction pmo and profit operations software development marketing we're going to go with marketing click on continue and over here what would you like to focus on we're going to look for project management this one click on continue and now it's going to ask us if we need any help with if we are confused or need some assistance on this certain things but if you don't have any questions or if you don't need any assistance you can simply click on continue and you could also type in how did you heard about monday.com you could type that here this is mainly for surveys or how monday.com would know how people are reaching out to them or how they are being shared upon to people to people so we're going to click on continue for now this is up to you if you would like to answer this and now right here in this section, you will be able to invite your teammates or team members into your monday.com team. Basically, you will be able to access and view the different things that you are doing in your projects, tasks, all of those things that you are going to do in monday.com later on. We're going to show you that. Your team member will either be a member. As you can see here, members can add, members can add and edit content or you could have them as an admin who can invite and manage your users. You can add them over here. For now, we're going to not add anyone. So we're going to remind me later. And now over here, we're going to enter our board name. So for our first board name, we're going to make it as real estate. Just like that. Click on next. 
and over here we're going to manage our projects click on next you could also add more like clients if you would like but for now we're going to go with projects we're going to add our clients later on click on next you could choose from a view layout from table calendar kanban cards timeline and got over here you could choose any of this option it depends on what you would like to see your project as you could also add them later on like you could have a table and then a calendar and then a kanban all in one table or all in one board so that you will be able to see the different things you need to do in different view layouts it depends on you but for now we're going to go with the most basic one a table click on next and over here you can list your projects as you can see here we have a preview on the right side so assuming that we are a real estate this is for our real estate so for our first product you could say that our product is about a properties property one just like that uh, property two this is for this group of tasks so we're going to go with property t just like that and click on next and now over here this is our group projects as you can see here this is the name of this so we're going to change this to property deals just like this you could use this monday.com as like a task management to help you organize the things you would do this is what we're going to use monday.com for for this other one we could say client deals just like that click on get started and we're going to see how we could use monday.com and its different features and tables on how to make a real estate or use it as a real estate platform as you can see here this is what we have created earlier we have our property deals so our property one two and three over here you could add some comments over here or start a conversation with a specific person or a specific team member for example you're a team leader and you have different real estate teammates or real estate members who are selling to different people for the property one you have assigned it to your one teammate and this is going to be their task over here you could change the status over here like for example deal status just like that deal status and you could change the name over here also you can change this to working on it stop or done you could also edit labels like you could change this to another word or for example ongoing negotiation stuff like that and you could do this you could also change the color of this by clicking this you could change it to any color you would like just like that you will be able to add that we could extend it so that we could see the word properly and you could also add a date over here we can see that we have a date over here maybe when it started or like the goal the goal of your date you could put it over here the goal of when you would like your teammate or maybe the day your teammate is updating for example the negotiation started on may 21 when this is done maybe click on done when the negotiation is successful you could edit the team the date over here and input the date where it is specifically finished or specifically closed in the deal you would put them over here you could also add more columns over here like status people date timeline numbers text and all of this other extra features over here maybe you could add some numbers over here like how much they have earned like maybe you could put in the cash of how much it would cost stuff like that the how much the deal was whatever you would like to use your table for this is mainly for the different strategies of each individual real estate agent for ex i'm just giving you an example of how you could use monday.com for real estate you could use it for property for your client or for any other things that you would like it to have for example you could add even like another group over here renovation plans renovation plans for your different properties for example property one once again then we could have your status over here like ongoing or you could add more labels over here you could add a new label planning stuff like that apply and you could have this as a planning status for your renovation for your property one you could add the date of when you would like it to start and like the assume price or how much it might cost to fix all of the renovation for the property one now you could also add your clients over here like i said earlier for example we have john the sample name for our client over here this is our client number one and then you could have a deal status here you could edit the labels once again add numbers and add different features over here this is for 
quick management of what you would need to do. It depends also on what you would like to see, what you would like to manage. Depending on what you need, you should put it over here so that you will be able to see status and like what you need to do first. This is like a task management thing. And you could also assign them by this section over here on the person section. We have this. You could assign people over here. You could also create a new project by clicking this button and you will be able to create project on this section or you just simply type it over here. You could also add a new group of project or import projects if you would like. You could also click here to add items to your workspace. You could have a new board, a new document, a new dashboard, choose from templates, import data. You could import them from all of this platform. You could also add applications. Application would help you improve your experience on how you would use monday.com. You could also have a new form and a new folder over here. By choosing from templates, you will be able to choose all of this over here. You could choose from this section as well on the left side. There are some templates created by the community or even monday.com themselves so that you will be able to have a very good design. For example, we're going to go with project management. You have this design survey here. If you are feeling a bit lazy to create your own board, you could use this other templates over here to help you create your own board. But if you would like to stick with yours, you can simply stick with yours. You could click on this, add view over here. Like what I said earlier, you will be able to add tables, dashboard, charts, Kanban, Gantt, cards, form, and file gallery over here, despite not selected in earlier. You could check out your chart over here. As you can see, we have our chart in this section. You could add some widgets by clicking this, like numbers, battery, Gantt, file management, and odds and apps as well. And that's it guys, that's how you can use monday.com for your real estate. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.